This adder has the longest venom glands out of any viper, but why? Their venom isn't even that toxic. So today, I'll be taking you with me on a journey to find the night adder, one of my most favorite snakes in Africa. And if you will let me, I will teach you everything I know about these unique vipers. But night adders are specialists, so you gotta know what to look for if you wanna find one. All right, now it's sun's about to set and it's the perfect time for night adders. Now, despite their name, they're actually crepuscular, meaning they're active during dusk and dawn. So early morning, late afternoon, they start foraging for the frogs. That's also why night adders have round pupils. So we're gonna take a look around and I'm sure we'll find one. I've released a lot of them in this whole area here from relocations. So I'm pretty sure we'll find one. This is like one of the easiest snakes to find, but I'm very curious. Hey right, guys, two things that are really important when looking for snakes. Number one, eh. Yeah, some good boots, especially when you're walking in uncharted terrain like this. You want to make sure your feet are covered and safe from any one-wanted bites. And number two, have a hook stick, guys. You know, don't free handle venomous snakes. It's really important. Use the proper tools. Now, night adders are very unique. They are also known by a rather unfortunate name, the demon adder. And this is because of their infamous attitude when they feel threatened. And another very unique thing is their venom glands stretch up to almost 10% of their entire body length. So proportionately, these snakes have the longest venom glands out of any viper in the world. So I'm just moving around here in these areas. These spots all look fantastic. You can see all the way around here, especially under a ledge like that. You could definitely see a night adder maybe heating up under there before he's hunting or even just searching because sometimes they, they forage with their heads into the holes, come out, move to the next one and keep on moving. And that's how they look for their prey. So these spots here all look absolutely fantastic. And there's a nice river down to the right as well. So uh, even under the bushes like this is exactly what I'm looking for. All right, guys, the sun is almost fully set and this is how we found our snake. Listen to that. Can you see that right there, guys? Just with my boot here. That's a typical grumpy night adder. Take a look at that. Whoo! How crazy is that? Now take note, he's not chasing me. He's actually just trying to get away from me. But let's let's get him out into this plain rock here so you guys can see him a bit better. I'm gonna hook you up here right. Right there, buddy. I'm gonna be a super gentle, super quick. Look at that. He is stunning. Woo hoo! Let me hook up my mic and let's play with this beautiful little guy. All right, there are a few things I wanna show you guys before we let him go. Would you mind that big guy? I'm gonna show you off for a few more seconds, teach everyone about how amazing you are, and then you get to, oop, that's a bit close for me, buddy. Now these guys are vipers, meaning they have front hinged fangs. Hinged meaning that they can move. It is quite scary, a lot of snake species like cobras, uh, sea snakes, Bormslung, their fangs can't move. Only vipers can, and that's what makes them so unique. And that's exactly why this guy is a viper. But he's a little different to our typical adders out throughout South Africa. You know, like our puffeter, for example, has heavily keeled scales. These guys have smooth scales. You can see all the way down his body, they're smooth. And remember, keeled scales are dragon like, they're rough, they're rigid, highly defined. Whereas this guy's scales are not as defined. However, his pattern is highly defined, especially on top of that head there, that bold V. A lot of people think of that V as venomous, and that's how they tell it from the egg eater. However, sometimes a lot of people don't seem to realize that egg eaters can also have Vs on the back of their neck. However, it's not as high up on the head as the night adder, so it can be quite confusing. Hey, big guy, doesn't it suck when people think you're something else? Oh, it's the worst absolutely stunning let me pick you up a little bit here big guy if you don't mind you're so pretty you're so pretty as long as we are nice and gentle like this you see it's starting to reverse so i'll come down he's still watching me the more i work with him the calmer he will become obviously i'm going to show you something now if i put him down here and watch the minute i stand up watch how his behavior changes look at that there's the thickening there's the angling that puffing right now I look scary I look intimidating and he doesn't want anything or anything to do with this because right here I'm in a very dominant position he's scared I'm gonna come over and step on him I'm gonna hurt him and obviously he has every right to defend himself against such a thing but despite him being highly venomous he is still quite a fragile little animal and that's the thing guys a lot of people think these guys are out to get you but in reality they're just trying to protect themselves. They're being defensive. 
See this? I don't even have to grab him. I'm just gently supporting his body. Keep the movements nice and slow. And now, his whole demeanor has changed. Hey, big guy. Look at that. See, this is not too bad. That tongue's starting to move out more. Snakes have forked tongues. They stick out those forks into the air, pick up all the scent particles, pull it back out into their Jacobson's organ, and they convert those particles into smell. And that's how they can track down their prey, identify danger, and a lot more. Quite an incredible animal. I think we're just about done with this beautiful guy. I mean, I think I've just been here about two, three minutes with him. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy with the encounter we just had. They're so beautiful. They're really common out here. As I said, we've released so many out in this area. It's an incredible area for them. And they're really easy to find. They really are. It's just about finding the right place for them. If you don't know where to look, you're probably not going to find them. But if you know exactly what they're looking for, you'll find them. All right, big guy. Sorry about that. Snakes have been feared for centuries, but the truth is they don't have to be. And thankfully, Steve Irwin has started the revolution of helping people understand and fall in love with wildlife. And I hope to continue that legacy in my own way. And I hope you guys absolutely love these videos. And if you guys really enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out some of my other videos here. And if not, here's a playlist.